I'm going to show in an iOS game, in this case a deer hunting game, how a player, a Web2 player, might be triggered to create a wallet inside of a mobile game. So this deer hunting game we're about to look at together has a mechanic where you can purchase uh, hunting rifles, uh, in this case for standard sort of Web2 currencies, coins. Uh, this brings the game in compliance, I should add, with Google and Apple, because those coins were bought through in-app purchases that gave that commission to the App Store distributor. So the player is now buying two hunting rifles using gold coins, nothing Web3 at this stage. Why are they doing this? It's because this game has a crafting mechanic where if you have certain items, you can essentially craft out of them a third item. That third item will be an NFT. That third item will be tradable, sellable, uh, essentially an on-chain asset wrapped in a smart contract. But this player does not have a cryptographic wallet. And here we go. The game is aware of that and invites the player to create their wallet right inside the game. This is a wonderful way to onboard those mainstream players that have never touched a Web3 uh, wallet experience. And now we've actually created a new Web3 player. This is going onto the blockchain and is being generated as a wallet. We get ready provide mobile wallets and desktop wallets as well. So in this case, the mobile wallet is being provisioned and it is complete. The player really doesn't feel like they had to do something special to get this wallet. And from here, they can continue to make transactions as we'll see later if they go on the web into their player profile, they'll be able to see uh, the NFT gun that they've purchased.